it holds a special place in my heart to be part of Grand Ronde Hospital. Everybody who grows up here, you have some sort of connection to Grand Ronde Hospital at some point in your life, you know, whether it's a visit to the ER or your primary care. If you're, you grew up in Eastern Oregon, you have stories of Grand Ronde Hospital. The best part is the people and um, people on both aspects. Urgent care, you know, we opened up in the middle of a pandemic. So we really didn't know what to anticipate or what it was going to look like. And so now coming out of that, again, last year, not knowing what it was going to look like, it's truly the people, the people that you work with and then the community. We've gone through a lot of stuff in the last couple of years that we've really grown from. We're ever evolving. We are working together as a team with every department in the hospital. You walk down the hall, anywhere from dietary, EVS, to the CEO, everybody's warm and welcoming, and I love it here. With my coworkers, I definitely work with some of the most caring and hardworking people in the entire hospital system. Even with the whole triple-demic of flu, RSV, and COVID, I do think the term kind of dramatizes it a little bit. There's no good word for it, but it feels like a return to normal because it's a lot of illnesses that yes are severe, yes we need to take seriously, but are things that we know how to handle. They're things that aren't unique and just a big question mark. It is bringing back that human connection on all of it that where we had to kind of disconnect for a little bit and keep everything, you know, locked up and masked up and seeing each other's faces and stuff is nice again, so yeah. Our designation as one of the top 100 critical access hospitals is definitely earned. Um, it's by no means a mistake or a default award. It's something that we earn by doing work that goes above and beyond what happens even in major hospitals. There are settings in clinic, whether it's the workup of a complex patient or um, if we run into a situation where we can't transfer a patient to a higher level of care due to weather or other factors, we really do provide service lines that are above and beyond what would be expected. To be a part of that is always really humbling, but also really awesome. I think when we deal with tough things, one of the things I like to turn to is what things are within my zone of control. Things that I can control, like the attitude I bring to work, the disposition, the fun, I don't know, funness of it all, you know, you can kind of have a control over that, even if you can't control what's going on around you. We've really overcome a lot and it's really reignited my love for nursing in the OR because we're looking towards the future, we're growing, we have a new OR coming, we're going to um, be expanding. Our, just the size of our operating rooms is going to be a huge change for us and it's really exciting to see where we're going with that. I think it comes back to the people. Um, I know myself personally um, that for me to come to work every day, I can show up every single day with a smile on my face because I know that my team's going to be there and they're doing the same thing. By going through this together with the co-workers that we have, with the attitude of everybody here who just wants to figure out how to make it work for the patient, that's the winning combination. Of course, it's hard being up in the middle of the night for everybody, but at the same time, those moments are some of my favorite moments to look back on because they're the moments where we say, yeah, we did the thing we set out to do, and that was awesome.